me too. You Thanks. angel. Mm, all the best. Thanks. All the best. Big smiles all around. That's so great. All right, let's move along and scare some mice, shall we? And I'm not saying put my picture in the basement, although that may work too. We're going to show you how you can scare them away and make your house smell good at the same time. Yes, that's right. That's pretty amazing, yes. right? <laughs> hey, let's get busy with Grandpa Gus. Grandpa Gus is here with the remedy, with the mouse remedy. You know, if you've ever had a mouse in your home, do you feel violated? I think most of us do. Yes. Because here's this vermin <laughs> in your home, chewing holes in the bag of bread on the counter. Mm -hmm. Scampering around in your closet, leaving little deposits, and you're thinking, well, what's the best way to get rid of them? Well, I can call an exterminator and then put poison all over my house. Or I can put up those traps that scare the life out of me. Right. Or Erica Swineford is here with a very benevolent grandpa, Gus. Yes. Great, great alternative. Nice yes. to have you hey, back, friend. Thanks for having nice to me. see you. <laughs> Talk to us about this because yeah. as as I pretty as this to. smells. Yes. It's something that mice hate. It is, because you know what? Mice do not discriminate. So no matter how clean our homes are, we're all at a risk at some point to have mice in our homes because we have what they want. We have warmth, we have shelter, we have food, and they want to get in to get all of those things. So Grandpa Gus basically takes that welcome sign off the front lawn because it uses cinnamon and peppermint oils in two things, in these burlap scented bags and in this great spray to repel mice because mice hate cinnamon and peppermint. To them, it's like pepper spray and it irritates their senses. You've heard the expression three blind mice because mice are essentially blind. They travel by their sense of smell. So when you spray Grandpa Gus right. along your baseboards or your entry points and you use these burlap bags. Smells so pretty. Yeah, in places like your pantry, your, the, your car, your RV, your cabins, this repels the mice and disrupts their senses sense of travel and their sense of movement. So instead of coming to your house, they'll go to somewhere else. Maybe Wait. your neighbors. <laughs> Send them over there. <laughs> All right, now you're getting four of these little burlap sacks right. mm -hmm. that are filled with the cinnamon and the peppermint That's oil. That's right, yep. Then you get a refresher bottle where you can actually spray the sachets, these little burlap pouches. You can. You can actually spray it. And each one of these uh, these pouches will last how long before we need to refresh them? So you can refresh them about every month. Now, if you're closing up your RV or your cabin for the season, you can go ahead and leave them in there and close it up and then be good to go until you return at the um, next season. Miss Erica? Yes. We have some video first. We're going to take a look there. Okay, let's do it. And then we're going to come back and show you some mouse we deterrent are. alternatives. We're, yeah, we're going to show you the alternatives because, you know, like the alternatives are traps poisons, right, where they go behind the wall and die, or if it's an RV or if it's a cabin that you don't frequent often, you don't want to leave, you know, dead mice there until you come back again a few months later. So Grandpa Gus kind of takes care of the problem before it starts. This is going to prevent the mice from coming in because, again, it's using peppermint and cinnamon essential oils that mice can't stand to keep them from ever wanting to come through the door in the first place. And so you want to put these in areas where you might have mice or a point of entry for right. mice. Mm -hmm. Because what are the alternatives right. to catching mice in your home? Now, you might want to use one of these glue board things. Right, which are a mess and you don't want around kids and other pets. Well, and let's just say that's probably not the most humane way right. to deal with this Some people issue, have said right? they've heard mice like squealing on these. Ugh. Okay. Gross. So let's Can get it. rid of that. Then you have the poison that may seem like a good idea, except when they eat this and die, where are they dying? It's often in, in your, your living room walls. or your shoes in the closet. So let's get rid yeah. of that. And then of course we have these traps that we put the cheese or the peanut butter on that again, I'm not confident setting, and I don't want these around my kids or my pets. So let's get rid of those, and let's. And let's just say this: <laughs> What if you hear the trap go off? You find the mouse, but it only catches him by a leg or the tail. <laughs> now you've got a bigger problem. Right. Yeah, you do. And I know we don't talk about this at cocktail parties, but it happens. It happens. It, it does. Happens. So what we're uh, what we're suggesting tonight is to put some scent out that drives them batty, okay? Right. They don't like it, they don't want to be around it, and they will go, they will travel 
way away from it. Right, that's exactly right. This is cinnamon and peppermint oils that are in this spray and also infused into these burlap bags. And then when the burlap bags lose their scent, just take your spray and recharge them every month or so. It's as simple as that. And then take your spray and spray it in places like points of entry, along garage doors. 1,500 of these are gone. We have no reorder on this product. Doesn't mean that we will never bring it back to QVC, but it just won't come back in this configuration. It's important to know also that it smells a little bit like Christmas. It does. Cinnamon That's what my peppermint. daughter said the first time she smelled it. Smells like Christmas. <laughs> right. And you're going to love it because you can spray this anywhere where you might have a mouse problem. Mm -hmm. And because this is just cinnamon and peppermint oil, this is not anything that we need to worry about on food surfaces? Nope, nope, absolutely not. So you're just going to spray until the surface is wet. Not so much that there's runoff. Just spray till it's wet. Let it dry. And, you know, Again, if you now if you have mice like a huge infestation, you'll want to use some traditional means with or that as call well. That this yeah. is really a preventative measure that keeps the mice from coming in in the first place. So the pouches are great in enclosed areas. Look at that, like the grill. Last summer, I found little uh, deposits, like you said, mouse droppings. <laughs> evidence droppings so right on our grill. Poop. So yeah. great for the grill, great for you know your garage, your pantry, Recycling under the bins, sink, garbage cans. Yeah, and then spray all those bins, the places that mice are known to frequent. They can actually squeeze through areas as small as a quarter of an inch. So if you have any little openings, it's important to close that, yes. those up. But spray yes. along your garage doors, your entryway doors, um, places where you store food. The pouches are great to store in there. We keep them in our pantry. Just all those places in our home. And for cars, you will love them. If you've ever had a mouse in your car, and I have, they are so destructive. Not only do they leave their evidence behind, but they chew things because their teeth grow so quickly, they chew them to wear them down. Well, I can tell you now, we've taken orders for over 2,000 of these are gone. That's half the quantity we brought in tonight. You're getting four of the little burlap sacks that are filled with the um, cinnamon and peppermint mm -hmm. oil. And you get a spray bottle, which is... See here. It's actually 1,240 sprays in this that? one bottle. So right. eight ounces, but 1,240 really sprays. Good. It does, doesn't it? It smells like Christmas, like we it said. It smells like cinnamon and peppermint oil because that's what it is. But mice hate it. Right. And you know what? If you're looking for a more humane way to deal with your mouse problem, then why not just scare them away? Yes, exactly. Right? Make an environment where they can't, mm, they can't deal. They can't, they can't navigate because this is something that, that messes all that up. And it doesn't hurt them, it just disorients them and they want away from it. So that means they're gonna get out of your house and that's a good thing, right? So no more s traps and poison and glue and that crazy thing we feel like you break your finger on. <laughs> this is what it's all about. Getting rid of it in a way that is more humane, in a way that is not disruptive to your family, where you're not introducing a poison or something toxic into your environment. Right, exactly. Your home environment. Mm -hmm. What if your dog or cat, heaven forbid, got a hold of that poison? You're good to go. So again, this is essential cinnamon and peppermint oil. So while mice can't take, can't stand the smell of it, it's kind of like pepper spray to their senses. For humans, it's actually a lovely scent. So it's safe in homes with kids. You know, we have kids in our home, lots of kids. If you have kids or pets, you're fine. And the pouches, again, for smaller spaces, like your pantry, like your garage, like your RVs, your, your summer houses, right. these are perfect. And then the spray you're going to use in places like that, the recycling bins, the trash cans, under the sink. We brought in 4,000 of these for the show tonight. I have 1,100 remaining. And inside this little uh, mm -hmm. vacuum sealed bag is right. where your pouches will that's be. That's where your pouches will They will come. last in there how long that'll before keep, you open them? Well, that'll keep them completely fresh because it's vacuum sealed. Like just oh, like great. Just like a, a pouch of coffee, it's vacuum sealed until you cut it open. And then you want to refresh your pouches every month or so. You can take your spray and just spritz those and place them right back in wherever they were. Do you have a camper that maybe is stored mm -hmm. this time of year because it's something you only use during right. the summer months? Right. Summer and fall? And remember, the mice are looking for anywhere where they can get out of the out of the weather. Right. And they can get into a situation. They and want food, Have you ever noticed some of shelter. your wires in your houses chewed up like this? Right. So not only are mice gross and icky, the ick factor, and they leave their droppings behind, but they're destructive. They chew things like this, whether it be in cars or whether in our homes, because their teeth grow a quarter or an eighth of an inch a day. Isn't that crazy yet? An eighth of an inch a day. So they need to chew things to continually wear their teeth down, and that's why they chew our th things in our homes. So this is a great way to... 
again, take off the welcome sign off the front lawn and hopefully they'll choose somewhere Some else. Some aggressive to go. mice. <laughs> yes, it is. Hey, we brought in how many? Over 4,000. I have 400 left. Miss Erica, I believe we're going to see you. Is this it? Oh, this is it? This is it. I'm going home. All right, safe travels. <laughs>